Hey guys, we've got ourselves some more Atom. Yay! Number seven and number eight. So, let's get right into it. We'll open up number seven to start with. And this one has got a very small magazine and some bits and pieces just in a cardboard. They seem to pack it slightly differently each time. Nothing else hidden in there? No. Alright, we'll get rid of that. And we have a PCB. So a little PCB here. And we've got, looks like maybe some internal structure of the, uh, the head. Maybe a bit of neck or something there. And what looks like to be another side. And then, what's this? Screws and some stickers, numbers and whatnot. All right. Get that out of the way. What's this magazine this time? Subscribe now. Instructions. More instructions. Even more instructions. This one looks like it's just an instruction book. That's pretty much all it is. Alright, let's get straight into it. So a lot of bits from last time. And what's our first thing? There we go. Servo. And that piece.
So let's see what we've got in the next box. Some more parts, looks like a hand and an arm maybe. Get rid of that. And in the book, we've got, what's that? Completed robot. Ah, this is a, a flow chart of basically how the artificial intelligence works. And then the uh, facial recognition. Facial tracking, interview with one of the creators, I think that is, and the manual on how to do this stuff. So that little piece is just the right hand. You can see the thumb there, and then this represents the fingers, like that. It doesn't look like it's actuated, it's just a little bit of rubber there, so you might be able to slip like a, a bit of a paper in there or something. Then we've got the other pieces here, which are for the uh, forearm. You can kind of see through the plastic, and this just attaches on like that, and it can rotate. I think you just rota rotate it by hand. There's not much room in there for a servo because where the servo goes in there, that's for the uh, elbow joint. We've got the uh, servo horn and a bit of wire here. And I think the servo's coming next. Um, yeah, we're getting a servo next. And that will let us, com I guess, mostly complete the, uh, the right forearm. But what we've got over here, this is what we did first. And this is a completed atom bust. So we've got the circuit board on the back here. This is a servo ID writer board. The servos seem like they're uh, the daisy chain, they run in uh, serial. So um, you only have to run one set of wires down the chain and then you address each servo differently. One, two, three, four, five sort of thing. And then when the, uh, the microcontroller sends a signal, it says this is for microcontroller four, turn this and much this way. And this is for servo three, turn this much this way. That way you don't have to have individual wires coming back for each servo, it's just one little loom and it just daisy chains all the way along so uh, this allows us to uh, to address each servo so the head or the neck servo is is address number two so I've programmed that and this board also lets us move the servo so if I turn that on and then if I press the button it will nod Just like that. So it's, it's hard to do it like this because I think the weight of the head doesn't let it move properly or something. But yeah, basically it's just does that. That's what the bus does so far. So that's all we got for this this episode. A hand and the completed bust. All right. Don't forget we've got that Patreon. Stick around. Keep watching the videos. And like always, we'll see you next time.